And I wonder if there's some insight or some practice or principle that you'd like to offer the community that's really supported you in your own process over the years of riding the waves of change that you've been faced with. You know, I think of it like spiritual activism, uh, which is so much how I come into this. You know, as a spiritually oriented, motivated person committed to very uh, concrete uh, global transformation in economics and new energy technologies and things like that. So it's sort of bridging the world of uh, intuition and intellect and spirit and matter and how to do that requires as much a sense of self as it does a sense of spirit and mm. so I think it's kind of e easier I, I guess in, it's been easier in my life to have a strong sense of spirit and of the wisdom and of the guidance that's coming through and more of a real hard one process to get an equally strong sense of myself and my role in it uh, in my own humanity and um, you know all that that all that that brings with it and I now feel uh, blessed with such clarity of purpose um, that I think it makes everything easier because uh, because at least I know I'm doing what I'm here to do and I'm being who I'm here to be and so whatever I go through whatever waves of change there are in that or whatever comes at me you know in the global situation or something that I you know I've learned about that I wasn't expecting I mean for sure in the course of making thrive as you know my comrade true comrade in that process of getting educated um, there were ideas and realities that I had never expected to unravel that you know we unraveled and, and had to wrap around and finding my place in it like so who am I in relation to this and you know it's funny because I know that I have a lot of courage I'm, that's reflected back to me a lot that I I definitely say and do uh, that which I feel called to say and do and, and to speak the truth that I see and I feel like um, I don't really think of I, I recognize that it's courage but it's not like it gets mustered as some kind of bravado instead it's actually a very quiet knowing where my sense of self and my sense of spirit are aligned and there's no when I don't get confused about that and instead allow the spirit to infuse me with my personality and power then it's you know that's that's when it's a good time and that's when uh, the wave can be doing whatever it's doing and I feel like at least I'm really clear with my purpose and so I really I think I can not underestimate that enough you know I still run into so many people who feel timid and insecure and oh you know it's just like it's not necessary I mean I guess it is if it's part of the process that you're going through it is but um, there's a moment awaiting each of us to claim our purpose and I just mm -hmm. feel like the universe is just this wellspring of assistance for us when we do just dying for your particular personality <laughs> to kind of show up and do its passion having um, a clear sense of who we are each of us I feel like is the kind of key to the kingdom because when you have that everything opens up from it and it's and then you can kind of relax and and pay attention like one of the questions I ask a lot is what gives me energy and instead of judging it when I get an answer actually including the answer in how I then go about my life like you know it it gives me a lot of energy to work with my hands in the soil there's something about it where I come back refreshed and qu quieted you know it serves me greatly to meditate every morning to take the time to be quiet 
and to actually get into that other you know brainwave state where I'm in sync with the rhythm of the planet uh, and open from there before I you know get to the computer and all my phone calls in the day and knowing that about myself means okay then I do that and in doing that I bring a better me to the table and I just think that you know this it's time not to hesitate anymore about bringing our better selves to the table 